Can we sit down? No interruptions. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Dope discussions. Talking real raw. Ain't no cutting. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Hey, Crown Heads, and welcome back or welcome to Tanika Marie and our Dope Discussions. So today, you guys, we're going to be talking about three signs she cannot handle a masculine man, okay? But before we hop into number one, y'all make sure that y'all have already hit that like button, shared this video, and definitely subscribed and hit the notification bell because you do not want to miss out on future Dope Discussions. Now, let's get into it. Now, the first thing that we have on our list out of the three signs she cannot handle a masculine man is she has to dominate everything. She has to be the one that is leading everything. She has to be the one that calls all the shots. Everything has to be controlled by her. All right. Now, in my humble opinion, okay, when it comes to relationships, you have to have roles. There are roles and, and rules that need to be followed. Okay. In my opinion, um, when it comes to relationships, the man is ultimately supposed to be the one that is dominating, the one that is leading, the one that is um, at the forefront because men are uh, expected to be the ones that are protecting, right? So if you're the one that is supposed to be the protector, then that means you need to be at the forefront. You need to know how to navigate. You need to know where to go. And you can't do that if you're in the back, right? Um, and so I feel like that's an issue that a lot of, especially the modern day females have as far as needing to constantly be at the forefront, constantly be in control, because if you're there playing that position in that role, then how can you expect for somebody to jump out and, and be out in front of you, protecting you, you know? And so that's something that we need to work on, but uh, for the guys out there, if you find that this woman always has to combat everything that you're saying and she has to always get out in front and, and, and control everything, that's a problem. She is most likely a woman that cannot handle a masculine man. And again, a masculine man, you're going to be the leader. You're going to be the one that is taking charge, taking the reins and navigating and steering that ship, you know, and you can't do that properly and how you need to with a woman that is going to be blocking you or telling you no, or trying to steer you in another direction that maybe is not the most safest or the most wise direction for you guys to go in. Um, and so get rid of a chick like this because it's going to be somebody that is also very difficult to teach, which is the second thing on our list out of the three signs that she can't handle a masculine man. She cannot be taught, you know, when it comes to the woman that you are with, she needs to be able to be molded uh, and she needs to be able to 
um, be the type of woman that can take direction because that is a, a woman that can take direction is the woman that is going to keep everybody safe, everybody out of harm's way because she's going to stick to the script. She's going to follow the program and she's going to make sure that she's not um, going against the grain. When you go against the grain and you become too rebellious, that can cause so many issues, so many problems. If your man is telling you, hey, baby, don't do this. We need to do that. You know, let me let me show you this way because this is the better route to take. And you're being combative and you're being confrontational and you're being controlling or competitive even. That is going to be a recipe for disaster. And that could make everything around you collapse. You know, it's like having that that one bad apple, right? That one bad apple. And it, it just makes everything crumble and fall apart. If you're not going to be that soldier that is following the rules, you're going to make it easier for maybe enemies to spot us, or you're going to be leading us into unknown territory or dangerous territory. And as the leader, as the man, right? You trying to keep your soldier in line and you have to go over here to unfamiliar territory or dangerous territory to try to get that soldier to get back to where they need to go. Again, it can still place all of you guys in harm's way. So if a woman is somebody that cannot be taught, which ultimately means that she cannot be led, this is a dangerous woman and maybe she just cannot handle a masculine man. Um, ladies, if you fall into this category of being that type of female to where it's like, oh, nobody can tell me what to do. I'm my own boss. And again, I dominate everything. I control everything. You, you have got to drop that, especially if you are looking for a man that can take care of you, uh, a man that is masculine, a man that is going to be able to create a safe and healthy environment for you. If you are a woman that's always going against the grain, nobody can tell you anything, sis, you need to drop that because you're going to find yourself alone, uh, miserable, and having to go through life constantly battling, constantly fighting, you know, instead of going the easier route. You know, a lot of us, unfortunately, we could completely turn a blind eye or deaf ear to somebody telling us something that is beneficial and helpful all because our egos won't allow us to take direction you know and so ladies on our tip if we are falling under this category of not being able to be taught and always needing to dominate we gotta we got we gotta get rid of that you gotta shed that because it's going to harm you down the line okay stop it be able to be coached, be able to be molded and listen, all right? It can do nothing but help you to evolve and grow and develop into a better woman, all right? All right, all right you guys, let's move ahead along to the last and final thing on our list out of the three signs that she cannot handle a masculine man. And that last and final thing is, oh, she listens to her friends over you. Again, it's a problem. Okay. <sighs> Women like this are oftentimes women that are extremely strong, independent, boss chick identified. Okay. And usually with women like this, they're going to have an extremely difficult time listening to um, male figures. Women like this, to where she listens to her friends, and when I'm talking about friends, in most instances when it comes to women, it's going to be a female friend, okay? Women like this that are going to listen to their female friends over their men, these are the type of women that pedestalize women to a fault, right? It's nothing wrong with thinking that women are powerful and beautiful and strong. It's levels to it, okay? Within reason, it's fine. You know, just like there's nothing wrong with 
thinking that men are powerful and strong and all of that. But when it's done to a fault, it's dangerous. And here's why. Earlier, I mentioned roles. I mentioned rules. And when it comes to um, relationships and, and the dynamics of the relationship, the man, okay? The man needs to be the teacher, the leader. We talked about that earlier. And if the female friends are having more of an impact and more of an influence on the woman than the man, everything is going to crumble. It's not going to last. Again, women like this, they feel like men are inferior to women. These are the type of females that have been listening to, you know, the narrative of women are better, women are powerful, women are smarter, women are just, again, dominating men. Men don't know anything. Men are stupid. Men are, are weak. Men are animalistic. Men don't know anything. These are those types. And you're going to set yourself up for a lifetime full of competition, um, full of just having to battle and, and, and get try to beat things into her. Not literally. OK, you guys, please stop. OK, we're not talking about literally beating you. But nonetheless, you're going to have to constantly try to, like, get things to get through to her. And it's going to be hard for you because, again, she doesn't even value men's opinions. She doesn't even value men's roles whatsoever. Again, the man is supposed to be the servant, not the leader, the servant. Even when you are, quote unquote, providing and protecting, that's still done under the guise of you're my servant. You know, you're bowing down to me as your master. And so if you're in a relationship with or you're entertaining a female and you notice that, again, it always goes back to what my friends said and what my friends want me to do over you, you know, that's going to be a problem. And it's probably a good idea to bow out gracefully because that type of female, she, she can't handle the traditional roles of a relationship, you know, again, and a lot of that traditional role is the man being the authoritative figure, the man being the masculine, you know, not having other female influences dictate and navigate your relationship, you know, and, and have more power over your relationship and you than your man. That's an issue. Okay. So fellas, y'all let me know, have you ran into a female recently or lately to where, um, she displayed some of these qualities? Maybe she was the one that had to dominate everything. You could never be somebody that, that took charge or took the reins. Maybe, she did not want to be taught by you because she felt like she knew it all. Again, these are all problems and strong indicators that this female cannot handle a masculine man, right? And I know a lot of you guys have dealt with this one as far as, you know, her listening to her friends over you. And once again, you guys, if you're dealing with a female like this, this is not healthy. This is not going to work. Um, First things first, you guys know how I am. I'm a strong advocate for trying to talk it over, um, trying to get through to somebody to understand your perspective or where you're coming from and what you need to change in order to have this relationship to blossom and, and grow. But if all this fails, you guys, if she's not trying to budge from these things, she's being very stubborn, bow out gracefully because this is not going to work masculine men we already know you guys don't tolerate any of this nonsense okay so she's not going to be able to be taught and get rid of a lot of those uh counterproductive behaviors bow out gracefully all right but that is our quick dope discussion for today you guys make sure that you like the video share the video and subscribe and also once again let me know 
if you can relate to this dope discussion, have you been in a relationship or in a situation to where a female was displaying some of these characteristics? Okay. Y'all let me know and I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace.